And welcome back from medical records to banking files. Be careful what you copy because that machine you use could be storing every word and to make matters worse, all your information could fall into the wrong hands. Security expert Anthony Mangeluzzo joins us and you say you'll never look at the copier the same. It's good to see you, Anthony. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Oh, uh, say it ain't so. I use the copier all the time. I make my copy and I walk away. Is that the end of it? Maybe back in 1980, that would be the end of it. Unfortunately today, while many of us computer geeks help to make your life easier, uh, technology will complicate things and copiers will store data that is that is put on there. So it can, it can be a real uh, security breach for a lot of different companies. Okay, it's storing it how? Uh, basically, the new copiers out there now have hard drives just like your regular PC, like the memory card and your digital cameras. And um, essentially, anything that gets copied, faxed, scanned, uh, will remain on that, on that drive. How much information can this drive hold? Thousands and thousands of pages on a low-end copier. So if you get into an environment such as a hospital or a larger, uh, a larger business, um, it could store hundreds and hundreds of thousands of documents. You know, we, we talked earlier today, and what concerns me here is a lot of companies lease their machines, including hospitals, so my medical information is basically being stored on this hard drive. What happens when the lease is up? Uh, generally speaking, when the lease is up, uh, they remove the copier and they try to resell the unit. Uh, a lot of times the copier technicians or the people removing the copiers have no clue that this information is actually located on the drive. So when this copier goes to another business or organization, uh, they essentially have the data that was left over from the uh, prior possible medical office. Um, and personally, I've worked with a lot of mortgage companies over the years, so think about all the social security numbers and everything that gets scanned mm. and copied into those systems. It can become a real problem. Yeah, my information could be floating out there. You know, we also have a lot of these print shops. You go and pay to have copies made. How can I be certain that my information isn't being left behind? Uh, unfortunately, you can't be certain. I, the, best, the best way that I would, I would is ask the person uh, their data storage policies if they have copiers that store the device. Uh, how can they ensure you? Can they give you a, a certificate or a certification that the, the data is removed? Uh, there's no other way to check. So you never really know. But I can imagine this caution goes with any device that can store information, especially those cell phones. I usually trade them away and I forget to delete all my information. Yeah, if you forget to delete the information, you could be in trouble. The cell phones all have a memory chip inside of it, plus they have storage on the actual phone. Uh, what I usually suggest is, especially for individuals that have company phones, um, if you're changing roles, giving your phone back to the company, uh, go to your supervisor and ask them if you can format the cell phone uh, right in front of you so that you can be insured, assured that the information will go away and that the next person that inherits this will not have it. Yeah, all my information, especially those photos, really aren't that exciting. <laughs> Back to the copier, an independent investigation found that one leased machine, they found 300 pages of individual medical records that were never deleted. Very interesting. Anthony Mangaluso, good to see you. Thomas, thank you.